Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bach, my dog and today I want to show you how, if you must, you can do conditional testing in Cypress. And the thing that we want a conditional test is to clear the items on the page. So here's the situation that's pretty typical. We're going to visit the page, we're going to use wait to let the data load, then we're going to confirm there are no items. Okay, the test passes, and it passes because, well, there are no items, obviously. And the test obviously fails if there is an item, because we never clear the items left by a previous test or some other user. So what can we do to avoid this problem? Well, right here, when we visit the page, we probably want to clear all the items by clicking the button one by one. So what we can do, we can say get elements, right? And we'll say click, actually find destroy and click so the destroy is this button let's see if this works well that destroy button is only visible on hover so we have to say force true perfect we clear the item everything is good we can rerun the test and now we have a problem because what happens if there are no elements in that case the get fails to find anything so now we have to implement conditional logic if we find elements then we can find destroy button and click it. So here's how we can implement the conditional logic. First, we'll say then, and we'll get a list of to dos. And we'll say side wrap to dos. And we don't have to click anything if there are no elements. So we'll say if, if there are no elements, return, do nothing. Maybe even say nothing to delete. Now this almost works. Right, notice it failed right now, but it will work if we have some items. Perfect. So why does it fail? Because every command in Cypress usually has built-in assertions. For example, site visit will assert with the server response, that responds with success HTTP code, that responds with text HTML, that the load event happens. If any of those built-in assertions do not pass, site visit will fail. Site get similar built-in assertions. For example, it requires the elements to exist. Otherwise, you know, by default, there is nothing. So it wants the element to be there. Now, this doesn't work because if you say, you know, nothing, then you can actually say should not exist. Now, this works. Notice nothing is not found and it doesn't exist. So if you attach an assertion to the site get command, when the built-in assertion of existence is not used. So what we can do here, we can say should, and then give some dummy assertion. For example, should have length greater or equal to zero, because that's what we really are confirming, right? So we're gonna remove nothing, check. Okay, in this case, the built-in existing assertion will not be used. Instead, it will check that the length of elements is greater or equal to zero, because we know that there could be zero elements or could be some elements. It lets us to implement our own logic by passing the list. Could be empty list, could have some items into that, that callback, where we can do nothing if there are no elements, or click on the destroy button if there are any elements. Now, let's see what happens if we have one item. It removes it. Let's see if we have two items and we run the test. We're hitting another problem. By default, click assumes there is only a single element to click, because the user probably needs to click a single button. If we have to click multiple buttons, we can to allow it. And now notice two items, we're clicking, right? Click first one, click the second one. We can actually add more items to demonstrate it in process, because it clicks it one by one. Let's rerun the test one last time. This is how we do it. Now, is this a good way of writing a test? No because it requires conditional logic. It requires more code. It has to disable built-in assertions that Cypress has, like inside get or inside click. So if you have a way to avoid conditional testing by maybe calling an API, maybe by connecting to the database and clearing the items, I suggest you try those methods first. But if everything else fails, you can certainly write something like I've written here in a .then callback that takes care of removing items one by one.